Hey, what's up y'all? We're out here at another one of the parks in the city. This one gets a lot of traffic. So uh, there's a bajillion signals out here. But uh, just found a first for me. Uh, one of the more entertaining items. I'm gonna hand drop it on Bear here. He's out hunting with me today. You ready? Darn. <laughs> and it's got metal in it? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I'll be darn. <laughs> That's not a cigarette, folks. We'll just leave it at that. Alright, moving on. Okay, guys, I've been right around this tree here by this old shelter and water fountain. And I've been raking in the zinkers and modern pennies and a couple dimes I just found my oldest penny and it's the curse of JD the 59d thought I had a weedy at first thought I said 55 but to no avail it is the 59 all right catch you at the next hole every hole matters every mole matters. <laughs> that's right look at this big old what is that, an oak? I'm not sure. It's not really like an oak. Yeah, I think it's some kind of oak. Big old oak tree at the bottom of this hill. Just found a first again. Look at the green on that thing. It's a weedy, but it's an old weedy. I don't know if you can read it. 1919. All right, that's my oldest coin to date. You guys were here with me. 99 years old. So, uh, cool beans. All right, catch you on the next one. Hopefully we can find some more. Okay, guys, we're on this same old tree. Tell me a head stamp. It's uh, UMC Company. Nitro Club number 12, so when I get home I'll look that up, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty old. Alright. Catch you on the next hole. How about you 606? Oh, let me see that again. There it is, Steven. <laughs> Didn't too, do too much better after the weedy, but uh, man, beautiful day, nice and breezy, sunny, I had a great time, so uh, we'll catch you at the wrap up. Well y'all, I changed my mind. We left that park and um, I guess my wife's going over to one of her friend's house. And Bear and his wife, my mother-in-law, are going to watch the tiny tornado for the night. So it's only about 3.15. I think I'm going to head over and go to uh, the house that my wife's going to. And that's that side of the old schoolhouse from the early 1900s. I'm going to hit his backyard. I just did his quick hunt on his front yard last time. So I'm gonna hit his backyard and see see what's happening out there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. I'll get back to you if we do. See ya. Hey guys. Uh, pretty deep signal here. And check out what we got. CCR. I don't know if that's horse tack or what, but found quite a few pennies and a couple dimes here already so doing pretty well I'll keep you updated later okay guys got a pretty strong signal here I've been on a trash streak so I'm gonna live dig this one for some luck I'll at least try it's really dry out here but just the way it goes
and who that appears to be a bullet not sure what caliber or how old I'm guessing not super old and maybe 45 Hmm. Neat. Alright, well it's not trash. Thanks. Catch you on the next one. Check this out, y'all. Move over here to the front yard. This appears to be a Haitian coin from 1991. So, uh, I'm sure it's not precious metal or anything, but it's still really cool. I'll get home and check that one out. See ya. Hey, what's up, y'all? Came out to do the wrap-up. Found some uh, cool stuff today, and I thoroughly enjoyed my hunt. Had fun going out with Bear, and uh, hit the park, and then I hit that permission afterwards. And, man, I'll tell you what, it really produced a lot of stuff, so... Here we go. All right, we'll just start with the clad. Uh, I found 20 panties. There was 19 modern Lincoln cents. We had three dimes. I think the oldest one was 74. And clad quarter. It's 1996. So, that was cool. Uh, then found some old bottle caps. There's a Stroh's Bohemian Beer. Detroit. I thought that was cool. And an older Pepsi cap. That was neat. And I found found this piece of lead. I'm sure it's lead because, I mean, it's just super pliable. Um, I'm not going to show you guys my junk today because I just had a ton of it. I uh, found this. This thing, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's, uh, I think it's copper. So, I don't don't exactly know what that is, but um, you guys saw this on the footage. I don't know if that's horse tack of some sort or, or what. And then found this little copper or brass ring. I don't know what that's from either. But uh, next interesting thing was this. And you can barely see it, but it says Nico Press on it. And it's got the part number and everything, but it says over here, solid copper GRVP dies, which basically it's, the research I did on it, it's a, uh, some kind of electrical or natural gas connector, I think probably electrical. Found that at the permission. The old head stamp it says UMC Company number 12, New Club. I looked that up and those were made from 1867 to 1911, so that's pretty old. It's hard to tell them when that was from. Uh, there's the bullet that I found. I don't know. I'm guessing that's a 45. It, it might be small enough to be a 38, but I don't think so. It's a pretty decent size. At least I'm quite certain it's a bullet, but I could be wrong. Uh, I found a fishing sinker. That was found at the permission also. A jack. 
That's a permission. And another little matchbox car. This one looks like it went through a demolition derby. But huh. I don't know what if it was a race car or what. I don't think so, but <clears throat> I didn't do any research on that. But then, uh, also at the permission, my two cooler finds, I thought. This 20... I'll try to get this right. Um, sun, sun Teams, or... 20 Sun Teams, I think. It's a Haitian coin. 1991, they're really common, so... It's made of copper nickel clad. But hey, it's the only one I own, so I like it. And then the find of the day for me was my old wheat scent. Oops. It's definitely a 1919. I can get the camera to focus on it. I can't exactly tell. I thought. It might be, it's really hard to make out an S mint mark. Not sure, but uh, get it out of the light, you can kind of see the, the green patina it has on it. Pretty slick on the back, I mean there's not much, you know, not a great amount of detail. The wheats are pretty slick and all that, but definitely the oldest coin I've ever dug. And uh, I was real happy to get it. So, all in all, a wonderful hunt. Had a great time and uh, enjoy taking you guys along. So, thanks for watching. Till next time.